Welcome to Parent University. I'm Sue Han. On this edition, we will learn how business partners and school staff work together to help students graduate with a plan, one that aligns with their strengths, interests, and long-term career goals. So, let's get started. In order to inspire and prepare our students for future success, we at BCPS value the power of partnerships. One dynamic partner helping with career development is Junior Achievement of Central Maryland and their BizTown program. So Junior Achievement is an organization that shows K-12 youth how careers, money, and business ownership work so that they can be prepared for the future and what life has in store for them after they leave the schoolhouse. So JA BizTown is a curriculum and simulation that students go through um, that connects the real world to their classroom. What students do is they go through 12 lessons in the classroom taught by the teacher that cover everything from how banks work, how careers work, taxes, and an individual's role within the economy. As part of the lessons before they come to BizTown, students apply for jobs in their classroom and the teacher actually selects them so they know what job they're going to have when they arrive in JA BizTown. There's a lot of jobs that all the students think is the most popular, the most, um, they're the most eager to get. The radio station DJ is always popular, the TV station hosts, the mayor is always one that we have to have elections for in the classroom. Uh, but every business has a CEO, a CFO, and realistic jobs that interact with all the other businesses in this economy. They actually populate this town. They make it come to life through their careers. They're working in each one of these 14 different storefronts. Each of the students comes in. They know what their job is going to be. They know that they're going to get paid. They know that they're going to go to the bank. And they know that they're going to go and shop at each one of the stores that are here. The students really get to see the flow of money in an economy, so they get to see how their business takes out a loan from the bank. They see that money come into their business and it pays them. They then go to the bank to actually put their money in the bank. They take out money, they have cash, they have debit cards. So they make all the investments that we do as adults all within their day here in BizTown. What we hope for students to walk away from JA BizTown with is an increased confidence in their ability to tackle the real world challenges that they're going to see in their lives. It's great to hear how children in our elementary schools are learning about basic business practices and responsibilities. But wait, junior achievement did not stop there. Recently, in partnership with business industry leaders and BCPS staff, Junior Achievement helped to host JA Inspire. That's an event where over 8,000 middle school students attended to meet with business leaders. But before the kids took over, we invited parents for a preview night. Coming out to this event tonight allows my son to become aware of career opportunities that he had no idea existed. So it was a wonderful experience. I'm so glad I attended with my daughter, who's a freshman at Hereford High School. Um, great dialogue, walking around, talking to a few of the vendors, got a feel for some interesting and new things that she might be interested in that we never talked about before. School counselors support students in their career exploration, development of career goals, right from the very beginning in kindergarten. In kindergarten, we begin with career exploration. Students learn about various careers. They sort of try on different hats. Um, many of our elementary school counselors will offer a career day for students to really have some hands-on experience. Then when we go into uh, middle school, the school counselors begin doing the six-year plan with students, meeting individually, talk about their goals, again, their ambitions, things they enjoy doing. Then when we go on to high school, all of that continues in Naviance, and the six-year plan sessions will continue there as well. And that whole process um, with school counselors continues through and then um, they are supported in that journey of setting those post-secondary goals whether that's trade school, college, military, or a career option for after high school. We've been working um, in collaboration with the Office of CTE to create a K-12 through financial literacy framework for Baltimore County where students will receive financial literacy instruction every uh, grade level, K-7, through seven, and then again in 12th grade a full half-credit course. CCBC 
and BCPS CTE department work together to show students the pathways from their CTE programs at high schools, like engineering and construction, to where they can continue their training, get an associate degree to go on to their bachelor's, or to get a workforce development training certificate. The students can get free college credits for the classes that they take in high school, and they have the opportunity to start college early. I hope you will plan to attend this event next year. Another industry partner who guides students from internship to career is Auburn Cat. Let's hear more. Auburn Cat is a, a caterpillar dealer for the uh, Maryland, Delaware, Northern Virginia area. What we do is we represent Caterpillar, who's a world-class manufacturer of mining and construction equipment and other equipment as well. I manage the internship program for our company. And what I do is I, I find students who are looking for a career. At Alvin, I am a paid intern and I am here to learn how to build engines. When I was at Silers Point Tech High School, I, we had a career fair there and I met Tom and talked to him about getting an internship here. We're looking for, for mechanical aptitude. We're looking for people who are interested in fixing things. We're looking for uh, people that want to work with their hands and want to learn. We try to fill the gaps, what, the, what they can't receive in the classroom. We give them the hands-on training here. We add to what they, what they learn in school. We have uh, for our, our interns and also entry level, we have a tool, a starter toolkit, which is, which is great. Because you, usually when you're just starting out, you, you, you're just starting out, you don't have these things. Well, my internship at Al Alvin Cat started here after I graduated Silas Point and I started after school going here at night. And then after a year or so, then I got hired as a full-time mechanic. My school prepared me by, we had on hand, like on hands training and we were out in the shop almost every day learning. It's been my experience working within this industry for quite a while. I've, I've seen it pro progressively reach the point where the unemployment rate is effectively below zero. Because everyone that's interested in this type of work who can actually do it effectively, uh, the way it's supposed to be done, they're working somewhere, so, which means there's a, there's, a, there's a shortage of good technicians. I'm hoping to graduate from high school and then get a full-time job at Auburn. Well, that does it for this edition of Parent University. I would like to thank Auburn Cat and Junior Achievement for having us at their facilities. We enjoyed our visit. Now, remember, if you have a topic of interest to share, contact us at parentu at bcps.org. See you next time. And remember, as your child's first teacher, you can be engaged anytime, anywhere.